glad you know. Thank you for interviewing with us uh, with LSU Tiger TV. Um, we wanted to stop and get you some winners and some folks. Oh man, if you would have brought you brought me to some Wiener Sniffs, y'all could have held me all day. Hey, <laughs> like I was raised on Wiener Sniffs. I know, but we got it, so we uh we got you in the LSU shirt. Oh man, bro. Oh, oh, I got my weight up now. I know you see it. Okay, Mama, hold this, Ma. No, I'm gonna keep this right here. I'm gonna keep this right here. Got you a little something, something. Um, just uh, cause we know you love the Tigers. Right, right. You you. You get out. Uh, right. What's the first? What was the first thing you wanted to do? I see my kids. Yeah, see my kids and uh, get in the tub. See, I've been taking showers for four and a half years, so I went and sat in the tub, man. How was it? How was it to actually just be able to hold your kids again? It was like uh, it was like a feeling I can't explain, you know. Uh, they came saw me every week in prison, but it's different from holding them on the outside and and, and somebody telling them they, they ain't got to go. They ain't got to leave me. That's the big difference, you know, and it was like, it was like daddy here now. And, and, and the joy they had, it was like screaming and, you know, because, you know, I'm a good dad, you know, as far as, you know, everything that got to do with a dad, I'm a good dad. It's probably why I got so many. <laughs> You know, uh, you know I got a basketball team, so uh, I'm a good dad, and uh, just holding them, it, it was a big relief, you know. What about this lady right here? Oh, mama, that was the first person I hugged. Right there. That was the first person I hugged, my mom, and kissed her. Yeah. So, uh, well, why, why are you in jail? I know your daughter released, released a music video, uh, basically uh, stressing that the importance of education. Right, uh, right. How you feel about uh, your kids maybe going down the music industry and because we are uh, college students? I'm going to support them. I'm going to support them with whatever my kids want to do. You know, with, with music, some of them just have that talent. Like Ivy Honor, she just has that talent. You know, she always been the one right there. So she always been in the studio and making and listening to me make music. So she can go in and make a song like that and uh I try to I tell her keep her songs positive, and she, and she good at what she do. You know I'm really proud of her. You know, and she a straight A student. Yeah, dog. So the song was a real positive uh, education, but it, it was cool at the same time. Right. Oh, she got swag too. <laughs> you know, she got swag too. So we working on. We gonna be working out after I, after I get my music out the way, do the label deal and all. We gonna we all be expecting the album from Ivana too. Any any other one? Uh, to the, to the, uh, yeah, 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 but we got, we got to work on to We got a lot of things to work on with to but if he won't go down that route, I'm going to support him. I know the people to lay him out and give him a better chance than somebody who just coming in the game right here. So, excuse me. Oh, I ain't got a sneeze. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see who said bless. Um, but uh, yeah, if he won't go that route, I'm, I'm gonna support my son. Whatever they won't do, I'm gonna support him. I'm not like a, a daddy who like you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you know. So, cause my kid, I want them to be successful, but they gonna be successful regardless, you know. So, uh, I just want them to be happy, you know, my kid. You know, one thing, one thing when I think about how your impact people. Uh, I don't, some people don't get it. I know certain people, why are y'all so excited uh, Boosie's out in jail? But me being from Baton Rouge, I get it. It's more than just the music. Why do you think you, uh, your fans have, have been with you this long and waited uh, the more release dates and joy? I've seen that joke. Uh, just, what do you think, uh, how do you think your impact has been able to just sustain this longevity while you were away? Because what I got is, is bigger than just regular music. When you make music that touches people, that tells their life story, that you can make a song and, and and somebody be like, I just went through that last week. That stick with people. It's not just like a song that you may hear in the club and it make you dance. When you can make somebody think or you can make somebody cry, you're a heartfelt artist. And when people 
listen to my music, that's what it does. And it's not just the music, it's, it's how good, good I always been to Baton Rouge and everybody else. You know, I'm not like a person who goes to concerts and don't want to talk to nobody. You know, I'm, I'm humble. I might see my see a fan, give them a hug. I ain't, I ain't with all that. You know, because without my fans, I'm nothing. You know, because they, they, they don't want to buy my records. So I'm not the type to be like, you know, you can't get an autograph. No, where you want me to sign it at? You know, so, and, and, and that touches people. When, and that gives other people hope to be like, this dude, he'll come from where he come from. I can do the same thing. You know, so all all that bottles up together, and that bring and that bring a different kind of love. You know, like when you got, see, my thing, I got fans who really love me. Like if I got, just say if I had two million fans, and another artist had ten million fans, I feel like my two million fans love me more than they ten million fans. You know, that's just how I feel. You know, because my fans, you know, they 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 they, they really love me. You know? I've been wait, we waiting a long time, too. I know uh, <coughs> when I got the news, I ran out my frat house and screamed a couple times. Yeah. Uh, called yeah. my brother. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we I heard they had parties at LSU. Oh, they had them in Tiger Land. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, so uh, the, impact, the impact is crazy. So you're back in the studio. Uh, it's, 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 how, how, what approach are you taking this time? Same approach? Uh, you come in, come in with something different? Uh, my my music is 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 just it's just storytelling, you know. I got music for for anybody who can understand somebody who got a heart, somebody who real, somebody who loves his family, somebody who knows about the streets and letting you know the do's and the don'ts of the streets, you know. And it, and people people get it mixed up to think that my music just only church a certain culture. You got college kids love my music. You got doctors love my music. You got old people love. I, I got a letter from a lady, seven years, seventy years old. Jay said I'm my favorite rap. Man, that touched me, man. You know they they got they got kids. Can't count to ten, but they can say B O O S I E, and that mean a lot to me. You know that 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 mean a lot to me, and uh, I'm just blessed. I give God all the glory for you know for my success. 